When Queen Esther needed to approach the king on behalf of her people, what was the first thing that she did? I think this is so interesting if you read the story of Esther. She didn't rush in with an emotional plea. She didn't use her feminine wiles or manipulation techniques to try to get him to do what she wanted. Rather, she actually spent three days fasting and praying in preparation for her conversation with the king, who was her husband, and she asked her people to do the same. When we see a man heading in the wrong direction, especially when his wrong direction personally impacts us, it's tempting to try to respond in anger or frustration or annoyance. Putting our emotions aside and committing to wrestle in prayer for that man's soul goes against our human nature. The enemy often tries to fool us into thinking that storming in with anger and accusation will have a greater impact than taking the, the situation to the feet of Jesus. But there is a better way. Queen Esther shows it in her example. If you are frustrated by weaknesses in your husband's life, the first step is very simple yet very powerful. Take your burden to God in faithful, diligent, importunate prayer. You may not see change happen right away, but if you continue to wrestle for that man's soul, you will see the faithfulness of God. Now, of course, if there's a case of abuse or if there's a threat to your personal safety, then usually more is going to be needed than just prayer. I would encourage you to step away from a dangerous situation and seek practical help and pray from a distance. But when we're talking about daily frustrations that you deal with in marriage, remember, it's not up to you to change your husband, but simply to have faith in a mighty God who can do the impossible.